Hey, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanna share with you a marketing strategy that we use at my company that is more profitable and more revenue focused than almost everything else that we do. And this particular strategy, surprisingly enough, not many people focus on. And if you're not, you should. Firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of a marketing education and consultancy called adclients.com. And I'm pleased you're here. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell notification. We put out a couple new videos like this every single week. Now listen, if you're here, chances are you sell a product, a service, a course, a coaching, something of that nature online, and you have a sales funnel that is endeavoring to uh, turn engagement online into leads and turn those leads into clients or at least opportunity on your calendar perhaps. And maybe you've got to a point where in your business, you're not able to recoup the ad spend that you are putting in to promote your funnel or your business. And maybe you're generating clients, but your margins are just too slim. You know, you're generating a, a $5,000 client, but it's costing you $4,000 to acquire that client. And now it's not really worth the fulfillment for the $1,000 profit. Not to mention now you've got software fees and everything else that goes into running your business. I wanna talk about a strategy that I have deployed that is a big focus for us that has enabled me to be less stressed and actually be more profitable than most of our competition, and it's this. It's focusing on maximizing the revenue and the clients that we generate long term from the leads that come into our initial funnel. Let me go ahead and explain what I mean here. Let's say you're running some traffic online. Perhaps you're running Facebook ads, maybe it's YouTube ads if you follow our training. But regardless, you're running a Facebook ad, you're perhaps registering them on a capture page, they're coming into a webinar, and then of course some of those people are becoming a client. And this is where you might have the issue that we just spoke about. That you're generating a $5,000 client, but it's cost you $4,000 in Facebook ads to generate that client. Or maybe you're selling a $1,000 course and it costs you $800 to land that course client. And now again, you're thinking the margins are too slim, this whole thing isn't working. There are two additional strategies that I've deployed in my company that have changed everything. The first is remarketing. It is launching a secondary ad campaign. Again, it might be on Facebook or it might be YouTube, or in fact, you could actually cross, uh, you know, uh, run your, your uh, remarketing from different platforms. So my initial traffic might have been from Facebook, but I might retarget them and hit them up now on YouTube or LinkedIn or any other platform. And, and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna be remarketing to people that have hit certain steps in our funnel with an ad that draws attention to what, what they have seen of us so far and remind them to take action. So if they uh, registered for our uh, webinar, they opted in, but they did not actually get to the webinar. They didn't attend the webinar then I'm gonna show them an ad that's gonna point them back to coming into the webinar. If they attended the webinar but didn't sign up to book a call or to join our, our course or our coaching, I'm gonna run a Facebook ad that's gonna bring them back to somewhere in here. Maybe I'll have a separate sales video that recaps what we talked about on the webinar and, and invites them again to book a call. Now the thing about this strategy is remarketing costs are far cheaper than the costs here. So it might be that yes, you spent uh, $4,000 on your ads and you made a $5,000 client, right? So again, margins are really slim, but it might be that you're remarketing and retargeting ads. You only spend an additional thousand, but land another client. So you spent four here and landed a 5K client, and now you spent one here and landed another 5K client. Now, if you bring those numbers together, your business as a whole is looking far more healthy. And this is exactly why we teach our clients not to focus entirely on their initial funnel. There is a time where you have to have tunnel vision to get this thing built, right? So I'm not saying that you should be multitasking from the very beginning, from day one. You should, in the beginning, have tunnel vision to get this thing built, launched, and get it out there. Now, once you have it out there, now we need to you know, add what we call the bells and whistles. And one of those is your remarketing campaigns, which only boost 
profitability. So that's the first strategy. The second strategy that we deploy, and this is actually even more profitable for us, and it blows my mind that not many people focus on this. In fact, I speak to friends of mine in the industry that have large companies that still don't focus on this as much as they should. And it's following up with email leads that come from your initial funnel. So when you run this advertising and you're building your list, people that are registering for your webinar, we can again focus too much on this front end process and not focus enough on the back end. One of the most valuable assets for me and my company right now is my email list. If we send an email to only our most engaged uh, leads, so not people that have been on our list for years and years and they don't open our emails anymore, but people that are actually engaged, they open our emails, they, they respond to our stuff, um, an email would go out to perhaps 50,000 people. Of that 50,000 people, we generate an additional six figures of revenue every single month. Oftentimes, it's multiple uh, six figures. And that right there is pure profit. Everything here is the front end. This is running advertising and with the aim to really break even. Now, if we are even losing a little bit of money or maybe we're only just making a little bit of money, this is where the big money is then made. Because now we send more and more emails to this audience back to different ways of selling the same product. Maybe we package it up slightly differently. We sell it in a different way with a different funnel, different messaging pinpoint a different pain point that this person needs and this product solves. Maybe we promote someone else's product. We, we, we a joint venture with someone, we do an affiliate promotion. Maybe we promote another one of our programs, so on and so forth, that the list continues. But right here, every single time you send an email to your list, any revenue from that is pure profit. And once you build a list, this is the closest thing to push button money. You type an email, you click send, and you'll have people buying your stuff. So if you're not already focusing on monetizing the leads on your list, and I see it over and over again with our clients and friends of mine in the space, if you're not focusing on this and you're only scrutinizing this part of your process, then you've got to start adding this in. Add in some email promotions, add in some campaigns that you do to your warmer market and you'll see the profit of your entire company going up. So hopefully this has been helpful for you, giving you some ideas, giving you some things to think about. And by the way, if you're not where you wanna be in your business, if you don't have a system that is generating you 10, 20, $30,000 a month right now, and you know that you're worth that and you should be, you just don't know what you don't know, then there's a link in the uh, description box and it'll also be in a pinned comment there. That'll take you to a page you can hear about the coaching that me and my team have, how we can work with you to make sure we build this and support you through the entire build out process and you'd have the opportunity to book a call and speak to a member of my team and see if what we've got is a good fit for you. So don't miss that opportunity. We have some availability to do some coaching with us right now, but we often close the program when we hit capacity. So we've got some spots open right now. Uh, check out that page, watch the video on there and see if it's a good fit and you can book a call. And that being said, hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video. Drop us a comment. Let me know if you're already utilizing one of these two things and if so, how it's working for your business right now. And I'll see you in a future video.